What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Murphy Lawn Care Channel. All you beautiful people on YouTube out here doing a little bit in the shop today. And I'm going to give you a tour of my 2024 setup. Now, there are a few pieces that I haven't got yet, and I will explain what those are here in just a little bit when I get to that point in the video. So as far as mowers, not much has changed. I'm super happy with my setup to where I don't need to change it. Although there is talk of possibly adding another Gravely. So right now we are rocking the Gravely ZTHD 52. The only thing that is different this year is we have put an advanced shoot system on it. Not quite sure how I feel about that yet, to be honest with you. I'm serious. I, there's some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it, but it may just be the fact that I'm new to it. Um, and then once again, we are running the Ferris IS 1500Z. That is a 44 cut. Now um, that's kind of for the smaller properties. Be honest with you, uh, I like the way the Gravely drives a lot better, but I am still in love with my Ferris. Now, I do prefer the Gravely, um, but I, I feel like the Ferris is going to be in my my lineup for the long haul, to be quite honest with you. And so is the Gravely. Uh, eventually, I do think I'm going to go to just a mainly Gravely fleet, but until the Ferris is just completely worn slap out and really not worth messing with anymore, it'll remain in my fleet. As far as push mowers, we got the Toro Recycler 22. This is the 163cc. We got the Recycler 22 back there. That is a 190cc. I do prefer the 190. I like the 163, but I, there is a lot of advantages over the 190. Um, when the grass is kind of damp, like if you start early in the morning, um, I try to do that with push mowing that way in the, you know, especially in the summertime, I'm not getting beat with heat because push mowing will kill you, especially if you got a lot on your route that day. So it's kind of start early and there's dew on the grass and the 163, it's not as fond of damp grass as much as the 190. Now the 190 will still bog and it can leave patches, uh, like clumps of grass if you're not careful. But as long as you go slow, it gives you a nice, clean, beautiful cut. Oddly enough, it stripes pretty good too for a push mower. Um, and the 163 just kind of struggles if it's not really dry grass. It's still a good little mower. Um, I just, I'm partial to the 190cc. Um, now, as far as backpack blowers, this is where my setup has changed pretty drastically last year or since last year. If I'm correct in last year's video, I was only rocking the uh, PB265L by Echo. And um, I really like the PB265L for um, if I'm mowing grass and I've got some stuff on the drive and I just want to blow it off real quick. Um, great for that because it's lightweight and it is amazing on gas. It is a really, really good blower. Starts up every time, although I'm pretty sure the plug or the carburetor is starting to give some trouble in that one because it kind of spits up. Um, it hiccups a lot when we use it now. Just started that the other week, <clears throat> but we're going to do a tune-up on it, actually on all these. But now, that thing right there is about 300 and some odd CFMs. I don't remember the exact number. So as leaf season began last year, it did pretty well. But I also realized that I needed me and Pop working together. So I needed another. We didn't just need one backup or a backpack blower running. Um, I paid $75 for that backpack blower. And I was sitting on Facebook Marketplace, seeing this guy right here pop up for $80. The guy said all it needed was a strap. Worked out really freaking good because that's really all it needed. And I, I haven't even replaced it. It hasn't bothered me much. So you can see the tube and everything really is in good shape. Um, I gave $80 for this 150BT and absolutely love it. This thing is a workhorse. We're about 750 or so CFMs on that. And you honestly, I hate to say it like this, I'm not knocking the Echo. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a tiny little backpack blower. I put them side by side. And you can see there's a massive size difference. But you realize just how underpowered that is for what I'm trying to do compared to this. Now, for its size, it is a monster. But the 150BT definitely, definitely helped get us through leaf season. Um, I like it so much so that I wind up purchasing another Hus Husqvarna backpack blower. Once again, on Facebook Marketplace, I got a deal. Now, this thing is not the prettiest, but it runs like a champ. We got the 580BTS here. I'm going to have to put a new filter um, and just kind of clean some things up, but it runs really good. It is extremely powerful, not quite a 9010. Um, I was actually looking to get the 9010, but for what I paid for this, I, I gave 175 for this. Um, and that to me is just a much better than paying around five or six plus for a 9010. Um, it's 900 and some odd CFMs, and a 9010 is like 1100. So it's not that big a difference, and for cost, I'm super happy with it. 
Now, the one thing I'm going to have to do is the tube is completely worn out on it. So from like here up, I am replacing the tube on that um, that blower. I think I paid like 25 for both pieces of tube. That thing needed nothing other than just starting up gas and go. Actually, it even gave me a full tank of gas when I bought it. So I'm super happy with that. Um, and right there is my backpack blower set up. And I, I think I'm doing pretty well this year. Um, like I say, I'm going to put a new spark plug in all of them, clean everything up, check filters and stuff. Uh, we took all the mowers down last weekend. We need to take all this stuff down. Cold weather in North Carolina. It's just really hard to get motivated to do anything, though. Um, we're still getting it done. It's just, man, I am ready for hot and humid weather. Not necessarily humid, but if that's what I got to have in order for it to be hot, man, I am ready for the 80s. So this is where we are going to make some other changes this year. Last video you've seen, I'm talking about the Hyper Tough. If you are a brand new lawn care or landscaping business or you're wanting to get into it, 108 bucks at Walmart. These things have made it through the season. I have literally beat the snot out of them. One doesn't run really good because I, I went like two months without starting it up and uh, the carburetor just needs some love. Other than that, it's in good shape. But this one right here still runs, wait, this one right here still runs like a champ and, um, really great for starting out with but i will say they vibrate like nobody's business so your hands are going to be a little sore your arms are going to be a little sore um your teeth are going to be chattering but they do vibrate pretty bad so this year we will be going with two echo 2620s to replace those and i do have this echo um i can't remember what it, it's the the pe 250 hold on let me get over here i think it's a 225 pe 225 i have really not used this all. Yeah, PE225, it is the Edger. I bought it, ran good when I got it. Now, I bought that second hand as well. It ran good the first time. I let it sit just for a little bit, and then it let me know that it needed some carburetor love too, and I'm not even going to mess with it because I usually edge with a string trimmer anyway. I bought that just for a couple of places. They're pretty big areas. They just make it a little easier on me, um, but I just got where I prefer to do it with a string trimmer. So. Now, as far as utensils, I got just your normal steel rake, your plastic rake, your regular shovel, flat-headed shovel, and then the hoe. Um, I do recommend if you're going to get those, don't get homeowner stuff. Um, homeowner stuff's pretty good, but it's thinner metal. It just doesn't hang in there quite as well. Um, spend a little extra money, get you some contractor equipment. I got my stuff from Ace Hardware mostly. Um, and near the end of the season, you get some good deals on it. It's probably too late to do that now. Although it is winter, you may find some stuff you may not. Now, here's something that I took a chance on. I was a little nervous about it, but I think it worked out. Um, eventually, I am going to be replacing this with an echo unit. Um, just for no more than I needed a pole saw. Um, it came with a pole saw attachment. This is the Sun Seeker um, 4 in 1 setup. It comes with the hedge trimmer, it comes with a pole saw, a pole saw I don't have in here. It comes with a weed eater head, and then the weed eater head can have the little steel plate where you're cutting up stuff. And um, I got this for 185 bucks off Amazon. Uh, I just wanted to see what it was all about you know the this actual setup from echo right here is like 500 bucks um and i don't really need it at the moment i just needed a pole saw so i went ahead and bought this and on the second pull after getting it primed and everything first time of fuel fired right up which makes me nervous because everything i've had that's done that usually gives out early it's the stuff that doesn't want to start the first time that seems to hang in there really well um so yeah but all in all so far i'm pretty impressed with the build quality now it is a little underpowered um especially the hedge trimmer part i don't know about the pole saw but it is a little underpowered but for 180 bucks i can't really complain uh, this probably isn't going to be something that stays with my fleet too long it was just a temporary buy, trying not to dish out seven, eight hundred bucks on all new equipment. Um, but eventually, like I say, I'm going to switch all my stuff over to Echo. I am an Echo fan, like you wouldn't believe. Um, nothing against steel or anything. I just, I'm partial to Echo. Anyways, guys, this is a video. I hope you enjoy checking out my lawn care setup. Um, if you're trying to get into this new and you're looking at whatever else has got, don't go out here and blow a whole lot of money, guys. Um, the biggest key to making this business is keep as much debt off the table as you possibly can debt free is the way to be that way when them other boys are charging 65 or 70 bucks to charge a lawn or to mow a lawn you can come in there for 50 and still be doing better at the end of that than they are at the end of theirs so anyways guys this is murphy lawn care i hope you liked the video if you did make sure you give it a subscribe and a thumbs up and we will catch you guys next time on the murphy lawn care channel